Hello. Hello and welcome to the Workflow Academy. In this comprehensive Platform Academy video series, we'll dive into the transformative world of workflow automation, empowering you to build, monitor, and optimize efficient workflows with ease. My name is Lisa Hohenstein, and I work as an Outbound Product Manager for the Now Platform. My area of expertise is workflow automation, and I create enablement content videos, articles, and blogs on the Now community. With me today is Jason Lefevre, Manager for Workflow Automation on the Inbound Product Management side. In this Workflow Academy Shorts mini-series, we will walk you through these three paths to make playbooks available to your agents and end users. Next experience pages, mobile app, and the service portal. Today, Jason the Fever shows us how to add a playbook layout preset to a new tab on a standard record page in a configurable workspace. Playbook components can be added to any Next Experience page. And the most common example is the configurable workspace record page. If you're adding components to a page other than the workspace record page, make sure to also add the playbook data controller. Then create and connect page variables for the table and record sysid. And with this, Let's dive right into things. Let's see how we can add a playbook tab to an existing record page in a workspace. So the first thing that we want to do is navigate to UI Builder. I'm going to use an existing workspace experience. So the next thing I want to do is add a variant, a page. So we're going to create a new page. And in this case, we're going to show how to add the playbook tab to an existing record page. So we want to use the standard record template. And all of these parameters look good. And we'll just call it default. Open the default page. And you can see here, this looks like a standard record page. So what you want to do next is go to the main tab. You can see here in the configuration panel that we've got existing tabs. We want to add a new one, and we're going to start from an empty container. Call this one playbook, and you can optionally choose an icon. So now you can see we've got a playbook tab. It's also possible to reorder these things. So let's make the playbook tab first. Now, let's find our playbook tab here, and we're going to add a component. So now you want to search for playbook components. We have individual components, such as our activity picker, our activity viewer. We also have our monolithic connected component, but we're going to use our pre-built bundles today. So our bundles come with a data controller, presets, and so from the get-go, it's very simple to get your functioning playbook up and running. So let's choose the focus vertical layout, and we're going to add some test data. So we want to switch this to incident. And I've copied the sysid of an example incident record. We'll apply that. The next thing that we need to do, you can start to see that some details are populating on this page. The next thing we need to do is go to our data controller. So you can see here in the data resources, we have the playbook custom layout controller on this page. We need to bind some properties. So the first thing we're going to do is bind the sysid. And then we want to bind the parent table. And then we're going to see some more things show up in the playbook components. All right. So we're making progress. Now you can see that there's a little bit of a bug with UI Builder. This is being fixed in our next release. The way to address this immediately is to go to the vertical container and in the Styles tab, you can set the min width to 100%, and this will address the issue. Let's go ahead and do that. You can see it's looking better. Let's save this. 
And there you have it. So now we've got our playbook tab in our default incident record page. So you can go ahead and preview this. Let's take a look. Now you can have a better sense for what this would look like in a functioning workspace. I hope you found this helpful. Keep in mind that you can use any of the layouts that we provide in our one of our four pre-configured bundles. So it's as easy as going through the steps I just did. It's also possible to pick and choose which components you want to add to your page. The key thing to remember is that if you go that route, you must first add our playbook custom layout data controller to the data resources on the page. Thanks. Let's quickly review the steps taken. First, create or open a standard record page. Then, add a new tab and determine the tab order. Add one of the four provided playbook layout presets or individual playbook components to the container on the new page tab. Arrange the components per your design requirements. Lastly, connect the playbook data controller to the page variables so that the components show the right playbook executions. And that's it. If you liked this session, please upvote this video. And whether you liked it or not, this survey is your chance to provide feedback or comments about this academy. I'm looking forward to reading your comments. You can find the link in the video description or use the QR code shown on the screen. While on the topic of more content, if you prefer to read up on topics at your own pace, please check out the Workflow Automation Center of Excellence on the community. I've collected resources and links, and I'm regularly publishing new articles with best practices, FAQ, and guidance around flows, playbooks, and decision tables. Thank you for choosing to spend some time today to learn about workflow automation on the Now platform. Thank you for providing your feedback and questions to help us make these sessions better for you. Until next time, bye.